What's going on guys? It's Erwin here, bringing you the part 4 to my 100, and this is going to be part 3 and 4, going to be running pretty close together uh, as the Russian war is uh, over with. Uh, he messaged me and said that, you know, and conceded, so, uh, anyway, so, um, basically what happened was, well, get my phone working here, okay, so I had uh, a south stack or south stack and a north stack, which this was the north stack uh, coming along here covering my northern flank and my southern stack just going ham on his cities. Uh, and my northern stack came around taking these two cities out up here and rolling around and going straight for his capital. Um, basically, the idea was to. Uh, not really necessarily destroy his army, but take his cities, his core cities, uh, and, you know, of course, uh, taking all of his resources uh, by taking out his core cities and making it to where um, <clears throat> it were the majority of his factories out of his core cities would be gone, and he would be relying on secondary uh, cities and factories uh, and, uh, and lo losing his core resources is the biggest ordeal um, so uh, went with that um, I say some of the things that I've learned from it uh, he was able to destroy essentially both of my stacks um, I've had to lost a considerable amount of artillery um, and infantry which infantry is not a big deal but my uh, artillery is a big deal and the rocket artillery was pretty much all destroyed uh, as you can see here, uh, only the few <laughs> in the proud had made it. So, uh, <clears throat> very, very uh, unfortunate. Uh, my southern flank, uh, very similar thing here. Uh, basically, nothing had made it. Um, I split it, like, uh, especially last night. I had split it last night because he was going to take this city with his stack. Or this territory with a stack, and I needed to split it so my core would have been a whole lot faster. So that way, so as you can see, you know, the health and everything is a lot better like that. So, it, of course, I'm going to be moving, moving a lot faster than I would with a unit at around that health or a little bit higher, or you know, a unit that would be in the red essentially. So, um, so I felt like it would be go ahead, good to split it, and then this air force would. Um, was still target my stack, which didn't happen that way. He still, you know, he was at a line and he was uh, targeting the smaller stuff, which if I was him, I would have patrolled, but um, he didn't. He just attacked uh, each one individually. Um, I'm not sure if it was the game that did it or him being online, because he was online, so... Uh, uh, I feel like uh, a lot, of, a lot of the mistakes. Even though I won, I feel like I made a lot. I definitely made a lot of mistakes. Uh, one being the biggest factor was he was online a lot more. Uh, he was a lot more active, uh, able to do things uh, that you know. If you're active, <clears throat> more active than your opponent, and your opponent's not as active, you're really able to get an advantage over him. Uh, <clears throat> that way. So, uh, what he what he did was he stacked. Uh, he's got a stack here. He stacked a lot of troops in one area, and all of his all of his troops in one area, and all of his planes in one area, and he focused them. Um, his units right here in this stack in the city here, uh, which I actually haven't taken yet. So, uh, which is the only core city that I haven't taken. Uh, at least once because <laughs> I have taken every city once um, some of them twice uh, these two appear twice I've taken them twice so but uh, anyway so uh, that stack is um, got a lot of armor in it um, decent artillery I think it's got like seven artillery um, and maybe one other piece of a different uh, branch uh, of artillery in it but the biggest thing is uh, a lot of armor a lot of infantry uh, just really a lot of health that uh, absorb the blows of other artillery and um, 
you know, my northern stack had essentially had better artillery than any of his stuff. Uh, but he was he was able to really damage it with the his air. His air was really able to raise a lot of chaos. Like he had a thirty five stack of air, and he was just raining down on the stack. And I was uh, using my strategic bombers as well as tack bombers to destroy his airfields. And mostly what I was trying to do was get my, which I should actually definitely build me another airstrip. But, um, let's see here. What I was able to do, I'm not feeling too good today, guys, but I had to bring you guys a video to update you on the war and how it all went. But anyway, so... Uh, what I was doing uh, was knocking out his airstrip and um, forcing his airplanes to land. And, um, and then, uh, of course, trying to hit them with the strategic bomber. Uh, he got extremely lucky when I had my airstrip here. And um, <laughs> the land revolted. <laughs> so my planes had to go all the way back to this airstrip. So... <laughs> and I was unable, and I knocked out his airstrip, and I was able to knock his cock. I would have been able to destroy his air in, in its entirety at that point when it all went down there. But, um, because he was asleep. So, and, but his, the city, this province revoked, man, and it just is so, such a disappointment, such a misadvantage. And I'm just like, mm, why didn't I have a troop, one troop there? And, it's just super, super unfortunate. Um, but I'll try to, for the, I've, I usually always try to put um, a, an infantry unit uh, to protect my airstrip, but I know that he didn't have any paratroopers. So I definitely wasn't worrying about him hopping, and even if he could, uh, my airstrip was so far away. Uh, that a paratrooper wouldn't have reached it. So, um, let's see here. What else? Um, um, I felt like, you know, he had a better stack for being offline versus me. Um, I got too close and he definitely made me pay for it. Um, with my stacks, um, uh, you know, like I said, I've got two two artillery pieces in this. I think, like, so he definitely made me pay for it. Um, I th but I think the biggest advantage that he, that, that he held is that my country's way over here versus his country's way over here, obviously, right? So it took me two to three days to get my troops to get secondary forces. Like, I called these suckers two or three days ago to get here. They're just now landing. Now the war is essentially over. They're just now landing. So, like, um, just such a big, big, big problem. You know, uh, I've, I have I can't be doing wars way over here in Asia when I just don't really have the troops. He had to be outnumbered to begin with. So, um, and the way he worked things, uh, I didn't really... Other than me having air over here, there really wasn't there. There really wasn't a reason to stay here, uh, nor was there really a reason for him to take these mountains outside of my air. Um, so I think in um, I think in future reference, maybe I move my air over here to my ally um, instead of pretending like he's not my ally, and. Uh, slowly move down this way and take everything outside his core and force him to split his troops up. But at the same time, the biggest problem was his air. But I think the whole, you know, out renewing flank, out renew, um, you know, just out, out renewing him, I can't say the word. So, um, and, you know, taking down this flank, going outside this flank and forcing him to move and break his troops up would have been a whole lot better. But what I had planned on doing was taking out his stack and uh, uh, doing some shooting and scooting. But unfortunately, he was awake and I was offline, you know, going to work and such. And it's just been super busy. So I was super not able to pay attention 
uh, like I should have been able to. So very, very unfortunate. But I'll try to get to shooting and scooting his stack and killing his stack off. Hopefully that works out pretty well. If not, what I really need to do is I'm going to have to wait for this stack to land. I'm going to wait for this stack to land. I'm going to move this stack. Probably shoot it around the town. <laughs> probably going to bring it back up. See, so the city only connects to that and that. That's stupid. Ridiculous. So, um, I guess what I'm going to have to do is bring the stack over here, essentially. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. So, I'm going to bring that stack here, and then I'm going to hit that other stack, his last stack. And shoot and scoot it uh, as best as I can, uh, but definitely not feeling good. Um, so I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Um, now my fighters are landing, so that ought to do very, very well. Oh, yeah, there's is there a naval port there? No, why would it land there instead? Hmm. Hmm. Very, very odd. Alright, so that's what I'll do. Uh, move my planes there. Got some fighters. Uh, decent fighters. Uh, he doesn't, uh, doesn't think he has good fighters that are not damaged. So that ought to work pretty fine. But like I said, he's he, he said that he's archiving the game and everything. So uh, this game should be over with. And, uh, but that's pretty much, um, I think I will, I think next time that I should change my stacks a little bit accordingly, uh, for the next, for a next battle, but I honestly didn't think he would do so well, like as far as like, he lost a lot of troops, but I mean, he's Russia, he can afford to do so essentially. Uh, if any doctrine is able to, he's able to, but I feel like I, what I take from this as far as stacking, what stack to make and whatnot, um, I feel like, uh, maybe you be a little bit more active when you're trying to close in and see the, you know, uh, be a little bit more active when you're trying to take out a stack that's bigger than your stack. If not, then you don't need to be trying to surround his bigger stack with smaller stacks, even though your smaller stacks are very strong as well. Um, uh, second thing, the, probably the most important thing, uh, if you're freaking in the United States and you're trying to take part of Asia, uh, which I did take this into consideration, but it was already way too late, um, even though it was like when I was over in this area at that point in time that I should not have come to Asia as British Columbia. Uh, luckily me, as I said in previous videos, I'll be trying to do North India instead next time. So, um, let's see here. Um, everything else is pretty doing pretty well. These guys are finally taking out South America, as it looks like. Uh, not exactly what the details are in. I think, I think they finally uh, crashed and fell apart. It looks like, um, but yeah, um, I'm not going to go too much into that. I think every, this video is getting to be super long. Everything's going fine over here for Quebec. He's taking everything out and look like he's having a happy hunting deal. So, but, uh, let's see here. Let's go to standings. We've got two hours left. Uh, da, da, uh, I'm 12. Not good. Two hours left. I'll move up a little bit. So, anywho, I, yeah. Um, after this fight, it was a good fight. Appreciate the fight. Um, uh, anytime you can learn something, uh, from my fight, it was definitely, uh, worth doing. Uh, definitely feel like, uh, this has probably set me back a little bit. Um, but I believe by the next time I get, or the next time I'm in a good fight or against a big country, if it happens, I will have replenished my resources or my troops and everything at that point. So, 
but sending all my damaged troops back to America to be more of a defensive unit and uh, build a new stack, send it down here, uh, help my cousin Japan with uh, this guy who is attacking him. Uh, he's done very well. Uh, even though it shows that he's lost a lot of troops, if you go to the paper, uh, he hasn't lost, um, no, uh, nowhere near as much. Um, he put up a good defense and, um, uh, was really able to just, uh, destroy his troops. And then now he's able to go and conquer his land, which is, works awesomely. So he was at war with the Russia as well, as you can see but mostly destroying the naval stuff, the ships. For some reason, Russia decided to go ships, and that is not their doctrine. So, um, unfortunately, is not showing his four with what's-his-name, and I don't feel like searching it. So, uh, there's that. Uh, but everything seems to be going well. He seems to be fixing to embark on the Philippines and take the Philippines out, as well as everything else that's island-based. Um, because he is Japan and wants to go that route, which is fine with me, whatever you want to do. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down below what you think of uh, what's going on and anything you guys can take from it. Uh, but anyway, um, um, Russia, it's been a pleasure. He's on my Discord, so I've been, it's been weird. I've been able to upload these videos. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, comment below or comment in discord you know uh, we can definitely it's a very weird scenario where we can learn from each other so anyway thank you guys so much